Vice Governor of Hainan Province, Madam Xie Jing, Executive Deputy Director of the Office for Deepening Reform of the Hainan Provincial Committee, Mr. Guan Jirong, and the Head of the Business Environment Improvement of the Hainan Provincial Government, Mr. Chen Ziyang. I will now give the floor to Governor Liu. Friends from media, good morning. It is my great pleasure to meet you all here. First of all, on behalf of the provincial community as well as the provincial government, I would like to extend our sincere gratitude to your long-term support to our work. Two days from now, we will mark the sixth anniversary since President Xi Jinping announced to the world the decision of building Hainan Free Trade Port. Over the years, we have been promoting high-level opening up to serve China's development strategy and drive Hainan's high-quality development. We have put in place a free trade policy system featuring facilitation and liberalization of flow of trade, investment, cross-border capital, personal and transport, and secure and orderly flow of data. The building of Hainan Free Trade Port is gaining momentum, which further consolidate and catalyze Hainan's high-quality development. Presidency has recognized the effort, saying that the Free Trade Port has advanced from a good start to a vigorous implementation, remarkable progress, and to prosperous development. During his visit to Hainan in 2022, he restated the importance of accelerating the development of Hainan into a free trade port with Chinese characteristic and global influence, so as to make Hainan the epitome of China's reform and opening up in the new era and make it a shining Chinese model in the world. Last year, many social economic indicators of the province registered the faster growth rates nationwide. GDP was up by 9.2 percent, the added value of industries above designated size by 18.5 percent, the per capita disposable income of urban and rural residents grew by 6.3 percent and 8.3 percent respectively. Trading goods and service grew by 15.3 percent and 29.6 percent, respectively. And Hainan's opening up features two-way dynamism, with imports accounting for about two-thirds of the trade, foreign trade, and its direct investment overseas up by 104.9 percent, sharing its development opportunity with the rest of the world. Present, we are preparing for island-wide special custom operation and promoting economic and social development in Tamdo. We're carrying out stress tests in a bit to better serve the integrate and integrate into China's new development paradigm by taking the lead in high-level opening up, accelerating high-quality development, improving people's well-being, so as to better incorporate us into the new development paradigms and provide a great answer to the 75th anniversary of the establishment of this country. First, we're pushing for high-level opening up and building of Hainan Free Trade Port. We give full play to the role of uh, free trade ports as a comprehensive pilot platform for reform and opening up. And we have launched an array of holistic and influential integrated institutional innovation. We have taken the lead in aligning ourselves with high standard international economic trade rules and carried out a thorough uh, stress tests so as to incrementally upgrade the, up uh, the FTP policies and maximize policy effects. Second, we are empowering and modernizing the industrial system with new quality productive forces. We are breaking away the independence of the real estate market with great determination. We are accelerating the construction of a modern industrial system characterized by the four pillar, three strength, and three premium sector. 
The four pillars refers to the four leading industries of tourism, modern service, high technology, and high, high efficient tropical agriculture. The combined share of these four industries increased by over 10 percentage points from 2018. The three strands refer to the three future-oriented industry of, of Nanfan, seed breeding, deep sea technology, and commercial aerospace, which make Hainan a major base for new quality productive forces. The three premium sectors and high refer are refers to high end shopping, healthcare and education, areas where we hope to attract high-end international consumers. Third, we are coordinating efforts to advance the integrated development of education, science, and technology in talent cultivation. We accelerate the building of international education island with the purpose of being the trailblazer for China's high-quality education opening up. So as to explore a path for high-quality development. We are focusing on areas such as bio, biological breeding, ocean observation, and satellite big data application. We're also expanding international exchanges and cooperation science technology and accelerate the uh, reform of intellectual property rights system for research outcomes. By 2025, we'll, we will fulfill the goal of attracting around a million professionals to Hainan. Fourth, we are promoting coordinated development of the whole province by following a holistic approach. The three growth pros of the islands now enjoys greater development momentums. Hainan's coastal cities are linked by coastal scenic highways and connected to the hilly ecological conservation areas in the middle, forging a synergy for development. Fifth, we're accelerating the green and low carbon transition. Protecting the island's ecological environments is a mission of national significance. To this end, a number of landmark projects have been launched, including National Park of Hainan Tropical Rainforest. Uh, the promotion of clean energy vehicles, the plastic bans, and promotion of uh, uh, prefabricated, prefabricated buildings, and so on and so forth. We strive to be the pace setter and contributor in the field of marine carbon sink and green low carbon development in China. Six, we are moving faster to boast of the weak spot in livelihood and in a development oriented manner. We aim to allow children easy access to high-quality education nearby and ensure people to get quality treatment for minor illness in their locality and treatment for major illness within the province, leveraging the dividend released by FTP policies and translate increase in business entities and investment projects into more better job opportunities. So much for me, and me and my colleagues will be very happy to take your questions. Thank you very much. Now, questions, please, please identify your affiliation before you raise your question. Thank you. People's Daily. It has been nearly six years since Hainan proposed building a free TP with Chinese characteristics. Could you please brief us on the latest progress and outcomes? Thank you for your question. I will be the one to answer your question. Over the years, Hainan has firmly implemented the decisions and plans of the Central Party Committee and the State Council. We acted on the overall plan for building the FTP and has made a swift and steady progress in building the FTP. The FTP has gained momentum and taken form, as shown in the following four aspects. The first is accelerated release of uh, policy dividends. Hainan has become a favored destination for investment. Under the working mechanism of uh, central planning departmental support and provincial implementation, the policy and institutional framework has taken shape. Market entities and the people have received tangible benefits. For instance, Imported intermediary products, vehicles and yachts, and the self-use manufacturing equipment are managed based on a zero-tariff list. Under this scheme, 20.2 billion yuan of goods are imported with tax deduction at 3.81 billion yuan. 
And also we wrote out the policy of uh, products processed uh, in Hainan can be sold exempted, tax exempted to the rest of the country. 4.71 billion yuan of goods are sold with 420 million in tax deduction. In 2023, duty-free shoppers and their total spending in Hainan grew by 59.9 and 25.4 percent respectively. And we also see growing investment since 2018, newly established foreign invested companies in Hainan grew at around 65% every year. The total number now stand at 6,543. Second is a rolling out of high standard economic and trade rules have enabled enhanced institutional opening up. We have synergized the RCEP with the favorable policies of the, STP, of the FTP. Taken the lead in aligning with high standard economic and trade rules and adopted a number of new policies in trading services, digital trade, IPR protection and uh, cross-border data free. To address the sticking points, we have deepened and advanced integrated institutional innovation across different sectors, departments, and regions. We have released 140 cases of integrated institutional innovation. Among them, 11 was promoted nationwide by the State Council and six, one is recognition. Third is the rollout of uh, preparation work for the independent customers operation. We started our work in this respect in 2023 and have since then made all out efforts to complete the three lists of tasks, projects and stress tests. This year, we will complete the institutional and free infrastructure building for the customs independent operation and distress, complete thorough and comprehensive stress test in terms of policy, institution, facilities, platform, and management. And we will build internationalized and top-notch business environment to ensure that we complete the preparatory work as scheduled. Fourth is risk prevention and enhanced governance. Effective governance is essential for the FTP to exceed. To address the potential risks, we will enhance our preparedness and coordination among different departments. Through building smart Hainan and credit Hainan, we will make risk predictable, control and preventable to forestall any systemic risks. Thank you. Uh,海南研究与实验发展经费投入增速近年持续保持全国前列。请问海南在科技创新方面有何特色和亮点?谢谢。Hainan's R&D input uh, has uh, led the country over recent years. What has Hainan done in this respect? Over recent years, Hainan has leveraged its strength to promote green transition and foster new growth drivers in seed industry, deep sea, and aerospace. For instance, the Sanya, Nanfan, Silicon Valley, and the deep sea technology city has become pace setters in the seed industry and deep sea research. We have finished building the aerospace high-tech center. Over recent years, Hainan's technology development can be summarized as four news. The first is new progress in national innovation platforms. With the inception of the Yazhou Bay National Laboratory, the number of national Innovation platform in Hainan has doubled. Second is record high in R&D input. The growth rate of Hainan's R&D input topped the country for three years in a row, and the number of patents has doubled. Third is new progress in research personnel. We have seen exponential growth in high caliber national talent, and the number of full time equivalent R&D personnel has doubled. Fourth is new progress in corporate innovation 
transaction. High-tech companies number grew by 75 percent, and the transaction value of technology contract has, has grown by three times. Going forward, we'll continue to promote innovation and scientific system reform. Our efforts will be focused on the following four aspects. The first is to enhance our innovation capability in terms of the land, the sea, and the aerospace, making Hainan's contribution to the country's strategic technological development. Second is to advance digital economy, petrochemical, new material, biomedicine, among other emerging industries, and also focus on the three industries of the future, namely the Nanfang seed breeding, deep sea, and aerospace, to roll out a number of new applications, accelerate deployment of technology, and integrate the innovation industrial chains. Third is uh, promote integrated institutional innovation to enhance the role of enterprise in promoting innovation and to grant researchers ownership of their own research results. Fourth is to enhance international SNT cooperation and build an internationally competitive innovation environment. Thank you. Hainan is building itself into a base for new quality productive forces. What are Hainan's advantages and uh, what will be your focus of this endeavor? Thank you for your question. I think we will leverage the two comparative advantage of Hainan. The first advantage is uh, temperature, latitude, depth, and green development, which are our natural endowments. The second advantage is uh, the FTP's policies and uh, the dividends released uh, by the further opening up. So, in this respect, we will focus on the following five S areas. The first is building strength through the seed industry. Hainan is in the tropics. Over 70% of the country's major crops are bred in Hainan. We now are is home to over 2,800 breed companies with industrial value topping 12 billion yuan. Going forward, we will tackle the technology bottlenecks of uh, the seed industry and build Hainan into a breeding Silicon Valley. For instance, last year, the domestically grown durian was produced in Sanya. We will further enhance R&D and uh, make more imported fruits and vegetables homegrown. Second is seeking strength through the sea. Hainan has a larger sea area than any other province in China. Now we already have over 1,000 high-tech marine companies in the province. A number of major deep sea equipment have been commissioned. Going forward, we will develop deep sea technology, intelligent marine manufacturing, and uh, deep sea aquaculture and other emerging industries, and will strive to bring the total economic output of the ocean economy to over 310 billion yuan. We have an even more ambitious goal, that is to build a maritime powerhouse in the next decade. Third is the sky. Hainan has an attitude that is favorable for developing aerospace. The number one launch pad of the first, the country's first commercial spaceport has already been completed by the end of last year, and we have a number two launch site that will be commissioned this June. There are already many top Chinese aerospace companies that are vying for using these two sites. We we'll also expand, we'll also implement a number of uh, key projects around rocket chain, satellite chain, and data chain, and uh, we will advance launch, research, manufacturing, tourism, and international exchanges all at the same time at the Wenchang International Aerospace City. The fourth is green development. We are committed to building a clean energy island, reducing carbon footprint, 
And uh, we already see the islands installed the clean energy capacity accounting for 78.5% of the total. During this year's Boao Forum for Asia, the zero carbon demo project at Dongyu Island won widespread attention. Uh, in the future, we'll continue to capitalize on green transition, build clean energy island, tap into offshore wind power photovoltaic, and uh, promote the development of the green industry and, as well as hydrogen energy. Fifth is digital economy will leverage the island's preferential policy to grow 5G, green computing, and uh, international communication submarine cables infrastructure construction. We will establish the administration of international communication accesses in rich application scenarios, for example, in China's overseas mobile game distribution, develop digital health, key components and other advantageous industries. industries. Seeing is believing you are welcome to visit Hainan and experience for yourself the vibrancy unleashed by Hainan's development of new productive forces. Good morning. From TAS, people are paying close to your attention to independent custom operation. Can you share with us the progress achieved in the preparation work? Can you also depict the vision after the independent custom operation is completed? Thank you for your question. This question will be taken by the uh, by Director Guan Ziyong. This operation is a milestone for the free trade port construction of Hainan. It is of vital importance to the high-quality development at present. We see this as a priority task. We focus on the work in the following three aspects. The first one is the list of tasks. There are 40 key tasks that are now promoting steadily, including port construction and designs, policy instruction design, uh, policy institutional designs. The second one is the list of projects, 31 major projects being basically complete. The third one is the list of pressure tests. We're now running full coverage tests with large amount of samples. With the steady advancement of all preparation works and implementation of many core policies, we've already brought tangible benefits to business entities in the future. The dividends of policies will be further unleashed. And here, I would like to paint the picture of this, uh, of this uh, uh, operation being finished on free and convenient trade. In the future, there will be more imported products come into China without pet tariff, providing more benefits to our consumers. In terms of trade and service, the level of learning will only grow higher. There will be fewer restrictions on foreign individuals participating in Chinese vocational qualification exams. There will be more talent professionals from abroad to work in Hainan. On investment, there will be greater access uh, for foreign capitals in terms of medical care, uh, education, telecommunication. You can now enjoy world-class education and medicine and uh, medical equipment that, are, that is not yet approved in China and enjoys world-class, high-level uh, medical treatment without even going abroad. On the flow of capital, we will promote the orderly flow of uh, foreign capitals, and the uh, finance sector will be better reinforced the real economy. It will be much more convenient for people to manage cross-border capital, manage, uh, capital. It will be much more attractive for uh, individuals with high net worth on travel facilitation. People from 59 countries can come to Hainan whenever they want, based on free trade, free visa-free policy. There will be more number, greater number of foreign-funded enterprises. More and more foreigners will be able to work in local companies of Hainan. They can be the legal person of uh, public institutions, state enterprises, and statutory bodies. On transportation facilitation. 
present, at present, Hainan ranked the second uh, in terms of gross tonnage of boats registered in China. In the future, more and more international flights will stop to unload and load passengers and cargoes here in Hainan. It will be much more convenient for Hainan to tra travel across the world. Now the picture has been painted, it's time for us to move forward. We have the confidence and determination to act on the decisions of the Central Committee with the efforts across, across the board. We will launch the independent custom operation as scheduled. Business environment is an important aspect of uh, the free trade port. What's in your toolbox in terms of further optimized business environment so as to attract more business entities? This question will be taken by DG Chen Ziyang. We often say that um, it is for the business entities to say whether the business environment is good or not. We see this as a great priority. We are doing everything we can to give uh, practi practical and effective methods to optimize business environment. For us, we have two tasks. The first one is that we're waiting for complaints. The second one is that providing service. To finish the first task, we have built a platform for complaints from with regard to business environment. This platform has been in motion for over three years. We've gathered issues from enterprises on to 7,000 and over 95% of them are finished, are, are addressed. And many of them are owed leftover problems even way before Taiwan, uh, Hainan became a province. In order to finish our another task, that is supervised service, we have, we have put forward a series of activities, for example, in the second half of last year, we have carried out investigations uh, to look into what, whatever is needed by the enterprises. We have brought uh, policies and service to the doorstep of enterprises above a designated level and emerging, uh, economy, emerging uh, technologies enterprises. And afterwards, these enterprises can evaluate the performance of uh, public agencies. And the satisfaction rate we gathered reached 96%. This year, we are carrying out an action plan focusing on the uh, holistic approach of optimizing business environment. Our motto is we are answering whatever it is needed by the enterprises. On this particular matter, we are integrating different channels for issue for issuing concerns of enterprises, including the set platforms and the service hotline and many other channels. And we have built a unified mechanism of dealing with the problems from enterprises. Whenever it, there is a problem for the enterprises, they can raise this to the government. Every single problems are put in this system. Uh, it will be made visible, the progress and responsible government departments will be made visible on this platform. It will be much easier to follow and supervise the government. The second one is, and, in order, and second, of course, is that we have, on, we have uh, put forward an online monitoring, monitoring platforms for enterprise-related activities. Government departments are required to make appointments and registered whenever they have to make uh, investigations in enterprises and whenever they request, a gov uh, request enterprises to report in uh, data and uh, materials, although it will give more troubles to the government, but it will give more convenience to our enterprises. We also have two characteristics to share. The first one is that we also focus on a legal, ba uh, a law-based environment, uh, the business environment. That is why we often say we are building a internationalized, law-based uh, business environment with greater convenience. As you know, we, the central government has put forward a regulation 
with regard to the free trade port construction. Many of uh, the things we said are written in the legislation. The second point I want to say is that um, we have built a management system with regard to business development. As of 2022, we have uh, built the first division in our government um, focusing on optimizing uh, business environment. And this government org organ was also established in, at different levels uh, across the province. And by doing so, we are providing continuous optimization to the business environment. Uh, Hainan has abundant tourism resources. It is quite attractive for, for tourists from and abroad. And how are you going to further boost the quality of your service and the experience of the tourists? Tourism is one of the four leading industries of Hainan. The number of tourists arrival last year, as well as revenues, grew by 49.9% and 71.9% respectively, setting a new historic high, making Hainan one of the uh, provinces with the best recovery in terms of um, tourism markets. During the Spring Festival, uh, the number of tourist arrivals and the revenue increased by 48.8% and 62.7% respectively, setting another historic high. The momentum is still there at the current stage. The Golden Week has not become a golden season. Without the affection of tourists to Hainan, none of this will be achieved. So that is why we have to further cherish and take care of the affection of people. We have the confidence and determination to take more resolute actions to make it a glimmering pla placard for the free trade port. We are going to focus on the work in the following three aspects. First, on International Tourism Consumption, Consumption Center. Today, uh, this year, we set to upgrade the International Tourism Consumption. We are planning a, a batch of signatory projects, build more tourist attractions, and opportunity for them to spend, num spend money. We're doubling our efforts in terms of building uh, infrastructure, expanding aviation port capacity, providing them with greater choices and better services. Second is on industry regulations and market guidance. We are giving full play to industry association, and we are putting forward package deals that includes uh, ticket, flight tickets as well as hotels. We are also guiding business enterprises to name the price reasonably. People all know that uh, Hainan enjoys warm sunshine during winter time. As a matter of fact, you can also enjoy cool summer breeze here in Hainan. We have uh, tropical rainforests and scenic, uh, scenic highways. You can say that there is beauty everywhere, and uh, you can visit Hainan whenever you want. And we are also promoting a campaign so as to promote, so as to provide more cost-effective options for uh, our tourists. Three on market regulations and service quality improvements. We have zero tolerance re with regard to deceptions towards, uh, towards tourists, 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 and no second chance will be given, and only swift investigations and handling and strict punishment will be given to these offenders. We're also doubling down our efforts in terms of training tourism practitioners and uh, also, we're also carrying out activities to enhance service quality throughout the year. Now, we are promoting a promotion campaign, putting forward different activities uh, in the island, including different tourist products. For example, in several days, the uh, trade expo will be held in Hainan. Uh, you are all welcome to come to Hainan for uh, tourists. Hainan has set its GDP growth target at around 8% this year. What measures will Hainan take to ensure delivery of this relatively high target? Thank you for your question. This year, we have set the GDP growth target at around 
This is a decision we made based on careful assessment, fully taking into account what's needed and what's possible and also the short and long-term reality. And we will strive to deliver. At present, we focus our efforts on seven aspects. One is uh, preparing for the independent customs operation. Second uh, is improving investment. Third is enhancing international tourism and consumption, and also enhancing industrial production chain, improving business environment, the financial sector, and also increasing trade and uh, investment at a steady pace. We will make every effort to deliver on this uh, target, our economic figure in the first two months show that our economy continued to rebound steadily. We will focus on both the real economy and the volume to strengthen the foundation of uh, the economy. The on the real economy, we will strengthen the industries. This year, we'll continue to enhance the industrial production chain, accelerate alignment with the Guangdong, Macau, Hong Kong, Greater Bay Area, and uh, create synergy with national strategies, for instance, the Yangtze River Delta and the Beijing, Tianjin, Hubei Integrated Development. We also carry out industrial cooperation and implement a number of key projects. You may have noticed that on the 27th of uh, February, the world's longest turbine blade road out line in Hainan with a sweep area of 9.4 standard football fields. It shows that Hainan is capable of producing mega turbine machine component and is also an epitome of the progress Hainan has made in advanced manufacturing. On volume, we focus on increasing the volume of uh, trade and investment. And also tourism and consumption. The first is uh, trade and investment. This year we'll implement the negative list for foreign investment. Put into use the multifunctional free trade account. Upgrade the single window for international trade and foster new developed business models, including cross-border e-commerce, offshore warehousing, offshore trading, and digital trade. All of this will make Hainan more attractive for international investors. Another is consumption and tourism. In the first two months, the number of uh, travelers and uh, the Tourist revenue grew by 20.2 and 39.2 percent, respectively. Inbound travelers grew quadrupled. Going forward, we'll continue to encourage domestic consumers to purchase products from Hainan rather than overseas. We will stimulate consumption by mm, branding tourism plus entertainment and tourism plus sports. We will host the fourth Consumer Products Expo, build the coastal scenic highway, the tropical national park, and other cultural projects. For inbound travelers, we'll make best use of the visa-free policy for nationals from 59 countries. And also, we will adopt facilitation measures, for instance, introducing the Hainan wallet, which converts foreign currency into RMB that can be used with their Alipay and WeChat. Uh, and also, I wish to add that Hainan's tourism is uh, booming, but there are also some area for improvement. For instance, in peak season, we see congestion at the Chongzhou Strait for vehicles, and also economy class tickets became sold out. There are, are occasional complaints for the services. To address these issues, we are making comprehensive improvement, not only during the Spring Festival and other times of the peak season, but also during the slack season. We are confident and determined to make Hainan a favored destination for tourism and consumption and ensure that travelers domestic and abroad will enjoy their stay in Hainan. Uh, has many of policies that allow specialized medicine and equipment. You know, they have already introduced 330 different uh, imported medicines and pharmaceutical products, providing greater options to patients in China. Can you share us with more information on that? 
And this question will be taken by Vice Governor Mr. Um, Madam Xi Jin. The Luochen International Medical Tourism Pioneering Zone is only of its kind in China, and it has appeared to the position uh, the country provided to it, and it has, better, it has uh, secured the basic supplies of, uh, of new medicines uh, that is in line with international standards. It has now become a city of hope for patients with rare diseases. For the past five years, the number of visitors uh, grew by 56 percent uh, on average, and the revenue grew by 65 percent on average year on year. And the use, number of users uh, grew by 200 percent year on year. Many of you might notice that there is a, a treatment to ALS in the United States that was approved uh, back in April last year. Only six years, oh, six months later, it was introduced to Lecheng. Now, this March, patients in China can use this new medicine in Lecheng. Medicines like this, there are already 391 different sorts of imported um, new medicines that is first applied here in Lecheng before it was introduced to the whole of China, benefiting 60,000 patients, including Reijing Hainan Hospital. Uh, Lecheng already have uh, 28 different in, uh, medical facility institutions, and uh, at the end of this year, there will be 10 more open to business. We have formed a much more comprehensive dynamism or pra um, paradigm of, uh, of medical institutions with good medicines and hospitals. People, patients do not need to travel abroad in order to enjoy the most advanced medicines around the globe. They can simply come to Lecheng. Lecheng also becomes the, become the uh, pioneer in the whole of China that pushed forward the uh, real world research and many other supervision systems and a bunch of other innov innovative institutions. And Luoqian has already established close cooperation with over 170 pharmaceutical companies in 20 countries. And uh, there are already 13 medicines uh, that has already gotten the approvals using the real-world data-assisted clinical evaluation, which, is, which significantly shortened the time period that is needed. It has now become a faster track for these medicines to go into China. Next, we're going to focus on the following work, following work in three aspects. First is providing more, better treatments and greater number of uh, new medicines to our people, bringing more world-renowned medical institutions and physicians and contribute more of our own um, effort in terms of building a healthy China. Second is explore innovation-oriented policies and uh, push forward the real-world study transform from a pilot stage to enhancement stage and provide so as to provide our own experiences in terms of institutional reform in this regard three is to build us into a um, medical tourism in a world-class medical tourism destination and we will fully leverage our advantages including our tourist resources and further expand international markets and accelerate the building of us into a regional medical tourism center in terms of institutional innovation, what, are, what, what, what kind of tools uh, is there in your toolbox? And uh, how are you going to build more signature product unique to the uh, free trade port? After relentless effort, we have made remarkable progress in this regard. We have put forward 16 batches, or together 114, 140 innovative cases and built a rather mature mechanism. First is we stick to coordination between uh, ministries and province. We lay good emphasis on part of level design. We ask for the participation and support of relevant ministries in our in 10 of our tea talks. For example, on IP protections and the application of real-world research data. We have in these areas with all at the very forefront throughout the country. Second is align ourselves with uh, high-level trade and econ uh, economic and trade rules. We fully implemented the RCEP. We align ourselves with the CPTPP in terms of certification and accreditation. We're also making pilot runs. We are also talking with the, uh, the DP, DEPA and drafting plans for development of digital trade. The risk can go on and on and on. At present, we have already made remarkable results. Last year, the uh, 
uh, volume of trading goods between Hainan and LCP member states achieved two di double digit growth, and the trading service has been doubled. Three, we have focused on some key areas. We are, di uh, we are putting forward a policy system that provides greater facilitation to trade. For example, the full process supervision model on zero tariff imports, China Yangpu port registration system, and Credit Plus uh, uh, approving system, and so on and so forth. These methods has further stimulated the development of the free trade port and has played an active role in terms of boosting our international competitiveness. For example, we have put forward the first unified channel for international investment across the whole country. And now if you want to have a foreign funded company in Hainan, there's you only need to visit government government institution once. And the material that are needed for enterprises are reduced by fifty five percent and the time was reduced by seventy five percent, seventy percent in terms of approval. In addition to that, foreign related legal service, international commercial dispute and joint review and inspection, in these areas we have also bring in new solutions. Next, we are going to see this as greater great leverage and build more signatory projects. First is that we are going to seek synergies of different mechanisms in terms of independent cost and operations. We are following a basic mindset of uh, classified supervision, smart supervision, and um, credit supervision. However, it will require a great number of uh, institutional innovation so as to find a science-based and effective model of our operation. Second is pilot implementation of institutional opening up. We will further guarantee the market access and the access of uh, different uh, factors. The third point is that we are focusing on key reforming key areas. We are always problem-oriented. We will further crack problems that are hindering the high-quality development of Hainan. We adopt a concept of the whole, go whole of government, and we will bring tangible solutions to problems in areas like market access and access to factors and law enforcement and rights protection. So as to build a law-based, internationalized, and business environment that is much more uh, convenient for enterprises. <laughs> we noticed that the population of Hainan Gibbon has grown to 37 individuals from six separate family groups, ramping up outside expectation for the Hainan Tropical National Park. What will Hainan do to build a national pilot zone for ecological conservation? Thank you. I see that you have done quite some research. I think at its lowest ebb, the population was 11 individuals from three separate family groups. So I think that you are quite updated on this. The Hainan Tropical National Park is among the country's first five national parks. General Secretary Xi Jinping commended the park as the national treasure and is also an important project for Hainan to build a national palace zone for ecological conservation. In Hainan, you can not only enjoy the beach, sunshine, and the tide, but also breathe in the fresh air and feel the magical wonder brought along by the rainforest. Building a pilot zone for eco-conservation, this is the strategic positioning of Hainan. Over recent years, we have promoted our work in this respect in the following aspects. First is goal setting. We aim to build the nation's best eco environment and also done the most excellent work in ecological conservation. We aim to build Hainan into a window for the world to see the good results brought along by implementing the Xi Jinping thought on ecological civilization. Second is we work to preserve the blue sky, lucid water, and clean soil. We 
rectify problems will never necessary and make sure that the eco environment will only get better. You may have noticed that last year, 99.5% of the days uh, had good air quality in Hainan with PM 2.5 concentration of 12 micrograms per cubic meter. 95.9% .9 of the monitored uh, surface water quality was good. Third is demonstration. We have made notable progress in building the aforementioned six signature projects, for instance, building Clean Energy Island and the rollout of clean energy vehicles. In Hainan, for every two newly added vehicles on the road, one would be an NEV. This leads the country. Also, we have launched the Boao Near Zero Carbon Pilot Demo Program. In the future, we will establish Boao standard with uh, international influence. Fourth is trailblazing. We will work to leverage our ecological advantage to produce economic benefits. For instance, we have a bamboo fungus plantation project in the county of uh, Baisha. We carried out GEP assessment on this project to evaluate its ecosystem, product, cultural, and R&D value. And we released half a million yuan of unsecured loans for this project. This encouraged the companies to play a role in this process and also let the people reap the benefits of ecological conservation. In this way, we pursue high standard protection of eco-environment and high quality development of eco-social development in tandem. We know that Hainan not only belong to Hainan people, but also all the Chinese people. We will step up our efforts to build a pilot zone for national eco-conservation and to pioneer, to take a pioneering role in building a beautiful China. We'll take good care of Hainan to meet the expectation of uh, all the Chinese people who has been closely following the development of Hainan. Thank you. In recent years, Hainan's foreign trade development has increased strongly, of which private enterprises are a main force for Hainan's foreign trade growth. May I ask, in terms of promoting the development of the private sector, what kinds of tools are there in your toolbox? This question will be taken by DG Chen Ziyang. As we know that the figure that depicts the development of the private sector can be registered in the following several figures. The number is 56789. However, the figure for Hainan, the number is um, the number are 869910. That is to say, by the end of 2023, the province, 4 million private, en pri private entities contributed more than 80% of Hainan's tech revenue nearly 60% of the GDP, nearly 80% of the job, and more than 60, uh, more than 90% of high-tech enterprises, accounting for 99% of total number of business entity in the province. We can see that uh, the private, and con private sector has become an indispensable and an important development force in the process construction of Hainan Free Trade Port. Hainan faithfully implemented the uh, two unswervingly, that is to say, unswervingly consolidate and develop, develop consolidate, consolidate and develop the public sector, and unswervingly encourage, support, and guide development of the private sector, and vigorously create a favorable development environment for the private sector and continues to improve the fair competition system, treat all types of business entity on the equal footing and enhance support for the private sector. And, pr and we show support in mainly three areas. First is that strengthening policy guidance from we have put forward 26 specific measures to support the development of uh, private sectors. We also include indicators relating to the development of private sectors into the plans of uh, economic social developments uh, throughout the whole province, as well as the integrated performance evaluations of government at municipal and county level. 
Second, improving the design of the system, we are implementing the first nation, national fair competition local regulation, that is the Hainan Free Trade Port Fair Competition Regulation. We are also running investigation and cleanup in terms of uh, regular, uh, in terms of market access restrictions on explicit and implicit barriers. We are also taking a series of reforms, such as machine-controlled planning and machine-controlled bidding. For example, the machine management of bidding has realized electronic tra transaction of the whole process of bidding and government procurement. As of uh, 2023, the transaction has amounted to 15.52 billion yuan. Last year, 276 bidding segments were completed, and the number of bidding entities increased by 12.4 uh, times. In the past, it was it is about it was only one digit growth, but now. The number has mounted to double digits, and for some segments, it has reached to third, three digits. Three, we have improved our the quality of our service. We have uh, see uh, private enterprises as important recipient of our inter of our service. Last year, we have provided um, bearer policies uh, to enterprises above a designated size, and, and among them. Private enterprises accounted for 37.94 percent. This year, we will continue to carry forth this project to over one uh, 10,000 companies, and among them, the uh, account the private enterprises will account for 89.53 percent. Kuomintang Daily. Lately, Hainan has released a new policy on introducing talent for the Hainan FTP. What progress Hainan has made in introducing talents and what will be the focus of its efforts going forward? Thank you for your question. Hainan has always believed that talent is the primary resource, so we have implemented the action plan for introducing one million professionals into Hainan. Also, we the Nanhai series talent development program. We have worked to create an enabling environment for talents to live and work in Hainan. As a result, 700,000 professionals from various sectors have moved to Hainan over the past five years. Going forward, we'll continue to promote education, s and and the talent in an integrated manner. We will introduce new policies in this respect to invite professionals from all around the world to contribute to building the FTP. We'll focus our efforts on the following five aspects. The first is introduction. We'll create more incentives more frequently, for instance, we will grant 30 million yuan of funding to group of outstanding talents. We will also foster talents in Hainan by introducing the Nanhai Talent Development Program and the Entrepreneur Incubating Project. The second is building platforms. With the inception of Yazhou Bay Laboratory, Deep Sea Tech Innovation Center, and the Commercial Space Port, a number of high-tech platform have ta taken root in Hainan, giving Hainan world's top-notch research environment and uh, innovation environment. All of this will provide platform for professionals and talents to carry out uh, their work in Hainan. It will also enable us to build Hainan into a base for developing new quality productive forces. Third is focusing on reform. We will reform the talent evaluation system. We will explore with the IPR system reform of scientific achievement, protect IPR at every stage, and we will allow researchers to carry out work independently or affiliated to a research agency if they choose to do so, so that talents will enjoy more freedom and fully unleash their potential. The fourth is uh, opening up. We will 
adopt a more convenient and open exit entry and work permit policy for foreigners, and we will support international exchanges and uh, cooperation. Hainan has visa-free policies for nationals from 59 countries, and uh, it is home to foreign expats from over 100 nations and regions. Five is service. will improve public service and uh, enable professionals to enjoy their stay and uh, focus on their work uh, in Hainan. For instance, we build affordable housing. Talents will be able to purchase houses uh, at uh, prices less than 10 times the house-to-price income ratio or less than 60 percent of the sales price of uh, commercial buildings. And also, they will receive subsidies. High caliber talents will also have access to quality services in terms of education for their children, health care, and also free transportation. Here, I also would like to take this opportunity to extend a sincere invitation to Chinese and uh, uh, foreign professionals and also young graduates. Welcome to choose Hainan as your working place to work here, contribute to Hainan's FTP building, and realize your dream in the process. Our press conference com concludes here today. I would like to thank all the speakers and participation from all the journalists. Thank you.